So now for today, I felt like doing a simple video for those a bit newer to electronics, especially those learning to use a multimeter. So one of the uh, nice measurements when it involves diodes is the uh, diode tester right there. So there's actually two measurements we can take with the meter set to this setting. And the continuity one is the one that pops up first. We have to hit select to select between the two of them. But in any case, for both of these readings, we leave the red probe where it is in this meter. Other meters, you may have to move it. And uh, so I only have to move the uh, red probe with this meter for uh, high current. But uh, in any case, there's what the continuity does. If you have a direct electrical connection, it doesn't have to be the two probes directly to each other. It just has to be through a basically almost zero ohms of resistance. So this actually isn't going to measure the uh, resistance per se. There's a forward voltage for this down. But there you can see we have a resistance measurement in ohms if there's a higher resistance. But there's no beep to let us know that we have a short circuit, a direct connection. So in any case, that is the continuity. And uh, that's about all there is to continuity. So we're going to go to the uh, diode testing because we have a bunch of diodes here. So with all of these LEDs, I'm going to zoom in. The long lead is in the row above the uh, short lead. So if you don't know about breadboards, these five across are connected, those five dots, as are the five dots below them. So each row down is separate. And then all of the uh, blue line there are connected and all of the red line are connected. I have the power supply turned off right now. But in any case, we're going to put the long lead, the anode, one row above the short lead, the cathode, right down there. Just uh, so we have a nice easy way to take a measurement to attach our probes. So we're going to zoom back. And first we're actually going to do the red LED. And uh, so all of these long lead is above the uh, short lead. And so we want the more positive side of our testing to the anode, the more negative side to the cathode. And you can see that uh, they weren't, it's not very bright because I think the meter only puts one milliamp of current through there. But there you can see we got 1.8 volt. So that's its forward voltage, probably at one milliamp right there. If I put the uh, probes backwards with any of these diodes, we're not gonna get a reading. So it's blocking a lot more then uh, maybe it's like 5 volts or something that this meter puts a maximum voltage across it. So if you do raise the voltage enough, finally it will conduct, but that will destroy especially the uh, LEDs instantly. So you got to make sure you put it the right way. So yellow is going to be pretty close to the same. It's kind of an orangish yellow, but in case yellow right there. So I use blue a lot too. That has a higher forward voltage than uh, red, as does the green, but at this current they still get brighter, which is kind of interesting. So that's important because when you're learning electronics, you use a lot of LEDs for demonstration circuits. You use a resistor to protect the LED. The resistor is what sets the current. Now the current going through the resistor and thus the LED is the power supply voltage minus the voltage drop of the LED. So for a red LED, you're gonna have your supply voltage but about two volts is gonna be dropped for the red LED. So the rest of the voltage is across the resistor, and then you use Ohm's law. The voltage across the resistor divided by its resistance is the current. And so the LED doesn't limit current, lets whatever current go through that is set to go through, but it does drop a couple volts for the red LED, a few volts for the blue LED. So it's important to know the forward voltage, but uh, generally you can just make a good guess for the most part. It's not that uh, crucial that uh, you take a measurement, but it's good to know how. So in case you can see here, we have a gray band to the right for the uh, rectifier down. So that's the cathode. That's how you know the cathode. Here's a shot key diode. We'll talk about the uh, difference with this one and you should be able to see the gray band right there. So this is a 1N4001 and it's made of uh, silicone. And so we expect a forward voltage of about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. So there you can see 0 0.634. So it'll go up again at the higher currents, but at this lower current, we got about 0 0.6 volts. And again, if we put it measure backwards, this is gonna block about 50 volts according to its data sheet. 
C1N4001, a very commonly included uh, rectifier diode in kits and stuff. So, in any case, the meter maybe provides five or something maximum. I can't remember. But uh, in any case, this would be used more to check the forward voltage. Maybe the gray band wore off or something. And uh, so, in any case, the reason why it has a lower forward voltage is just the material it's made out of. For some reason, whatever it takes to make LEDs, they need more voltage to get them to conduct. And thus, they drop more voltage from series components. The rectifier diode is basically made to conduct pretty much as good as it can well forward bias but uh, as you can see it does drop a bit of voltage that's where the shot key diode comes in so we have here a uh, 15 so I think that means a maximum of 15 amps probably want to keep it at least half that though SQ and then a 045 so I believe that means if you reverse bias it you can do that up to 45 volts and in any case we're gonna look at its forward voltage that's the main topic of today's video. So there you can see uh, 0.152 volts. And so much lower than that down. And that doesn't have to do with its size. The size is because, as I said before, I believe this is rated for up to 15 amps. I always check the dash sheet to verify. But in any case, these are commonly used with uh, solar panels. So you got a certain amount of voltage coming from the solar panel, and usually, a fair amount of uh, current and uh, so you want that current to flow one way but not the other to help protect the uh, solar panels if you uh, put them directly to a battery you don't want that battery feeding power back to them and uh, so you could use something like this now solar panels they only can provide so much power and uh, so you don't want to waste a lot of power heating up the diode so the less voltage that the uh, diode is dropping between the solar panel and its final destination, the more power is going to be transferred from the solar panel to the other, wherever its final destination is. And uh, so you want a low forward voltage, that's why you'll pay extra for the Schottky down, because the voltage or the uh, power savings will offset the cost of that diode. And uh, for our smaller circuits, you can just go with the regular rectifier down, and uh, you're not losing that much power for a uh, smaller circuit where you're getting power from the outlet and it's uh, almost free very low price so in any case that's it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen if you can donate please do that helps out the most I have links down below but otherwise just watching videos helps out a ton I really appreciate that as always turn off your meter and uh, get it off of measuring other stuff other than uh, voltage because if you accidentally measure voltage at other readings you might damage the uh, meter